We welcome you to the Audison Recognition Ceremony. I'm delighted to honor and congratulate each one of our eighth graders. You had a special journey learning together, and I'm proud to join your family, friends, and the Audison staff today in celebrating your successes. The Audison class of 2018 is an extraordinary group of accomplished students. You worked hard at Audison, and you are ready to move to the high school. We hope that you take along the values of empathy, kindness, love of learning, and respect for others. I know that this class will think beyond Audison, beyond Arlington, beyond our state and country. You can make a global impact and we know you will, as you have demonstrated that this year. Be the best you is one of our themes. I know you will continue to be the best version of yourself. I wrote this quote in your yearbook by Ashley Rice. As long as you are true to the strength within your own heart, you can never go wrong. This means to be true to yourself in the paths that you choose and the decisions that you make. Follow your talents and passions and never forget that there is no brighter light than the one within you. Follow the inner light to your own personal greatness. Today, I salute and recognize the dedicated Audison Middle School teachers who believe in you and I know take quiet pride in all your accomplishments. Congratulations and enjoy this great day. And now the chorus will sing Somebody to Love under the direction of Mr. Greg Kondekas. Good morning, everyone. My name is Connor Kelleher, and this is the eighth grade chorus. Woo! Congratulations to the 800s and the 820s who graduated this morning, and good luck, 840s and 810s. Um, we'll be singing one piece for you. It is called Somebody to Love by Queen. Some of you oldies may know it. <laughs> um, <coughs> Our soloists are Sophia Gould and Anna Lindsay, and on the guitar is Emmett Cohen. We hope you enjoy. Peace. All right. <laughs> Somebody call it Tim. Can anybody? Each morning I get up, I die a little. Can barely stand on my feet. Take a look in the mirror and cry. Lord, did you do it to me? I spent all my years believing you, but I just can't get no relief. Lord. Somebody, oh somebody, can anybody find me? Somebody to love. I work hard, he works hard every day of my life. I, I work till I ache in my bones. At the end, at the end of the day, I take home my heart and pay all on my own. I get down on my knees and I start to pray till the tears roll down from my eyes. Lord. 
somebody, oh somebody, can anybody find me? Somebody to love. Every day, I try and I try and I try, but everybody wants to put me down. They say I'm going crazy. They say got water in my brain. I got no common sense, I got nobody left to believe. Ooh. Ooh. Lord, somebody, somebody. oh, somebody. Can anybody find me? Somebody to love. Got no feel, I got no rhythm. I just keep losing my beat. I'm okay, I'm alright. I ain't gonna face no defeat. I just gotta get out of this prison cell. Someday I'm gonna be free. We have the Master Awards. These students received all A's in core classes and world language for their entire eighth grade year. Please stand and face uh, the back. <laughs> Congratulations to Kayla Castellucci. I would ask that you hold the applause to the end. Thank you. Sophia Dolan. Sierra Farrington. Alexandria Cagliostro. Sophie Garrity Jenger. Paige Goodsell. Ritika Gerger. Sarah Hoffman. Chloe Keys. Robert Hezun, Tady Cottonen, Maya Kushnan, Maria Mantini, Zoe Miller, Sasha Monks, Anya 
Sharif, Kevin Simmons, Julia Simon, Sasha Sperling, Graham Vinson, Marigold Averill, Zoe Callahan, Sophia De Silva, Amarak Cohn, Vanessa Lewis, Jerry Teakin, Jerry Teakin. Congratulations to these high achieving students. Thank you. I would like to recognize Nora Schilling and Juliette Ortiz, who represented the Audison in the town of Arlington in Project 351, which is a youth service organization that develops a rising generation of community first leaders. Project 351 fosters unity and strengthens the ethic of service through the engagement and enrichment of an eighth grade ambassador from each of the 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts. We were able to have two representing Audison due to the uh, large number of students we have. The organization is committed to the values of social justice and the lifetime of civic responsibility and service. We thank both Nora and Juliet for representing Audison Middle School in the town of Arlington and for organizing Cradles to Crayons service project. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Woods. Uh, my name is Maureen Murphy. I'm the eighth grade assistant principal. Um, I have been shocked at how quickly these past three years have gone from going to visit your fifth grade classrooms to get to know you and introduce myself to writing high school recommendations and everything in between. Uh, it has been a pleasure to work with this group of students at the Audison. When people ask or you know wonder why I work in a middle school um, you know that it's going to be challenging how do you do it you know I, I look out at these faces and the faces before them and and that's why you know to re really be helping the students working with the students and seeing them off to a good future is is really the best reward that I could ask for um, there's been a lot of laughter and tears seeing students work their way through oh I'm sorry seeing students work their way through uh, sticky situations um, facing challenges that they didn't think they could manage, but they did, and have learned to rise above adversity and look ahead and not back. I hope that when students look back at their years at OMS, they remember that they've learned how to be selective, where to invest their time, energy, and emotions, and not get caught up in drama that may not matter in five years, or even in five minutes in some case. I wish you all the best in high school and beyond. And I would also like to recognize Dr. Eileen Woods, who's been our leader for the past two years. Uh, it's been wonderful to have her here, and we will miss her. Next comes our awards in our specialist subjects. We're going to start with visual arts. Congratulations, eighth graders. You look, you clean up very nicely. OK, so we have visual art awards. Um, and we really take into account all three years for the visual art awards, and we really uh, look at kids who spend a lot of time in the art room, can't get enough of the art room, um, and really are focused on continuing their art career. Our awards are Nina McNinch, Inez Kasimi. Giovanna De Stefanis, and Sasha Monks.
Good morning. My name is Jinghui Wei. I'm the orchestra conductor at Alison Middle School. I'm here to present the Band and Orchestra Award. Each year, Ms. Dimitrio, the band director, and I proudly send the orchestra and band student to high school to continue their musical journey. We have worked and known with those wonderful young musicians for the past five years, six years, since they were in third and fourth grade. Do you remember our little, little twinkle little star? And I, we hope you continue to enjoy playing instruments and share your love of music with the world. The band award goes to Maceo Crawford, Xavier de Venezia, Sasha Monks, <laughs> Owen Roth. Orchestra award, Ritika Gurjai. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Greg Kandakis. I'm Kate Elmendorf. And I'm Corey Smith. Each year, the music department recognizes eighth graders for outstanding achievement and enthusiasm in the general music classroom. For my classes, um, we'd like to honor Josh Garner. <laughs> Laura Davies. And Chloe Keys. And from my class, Sid Shretha. Did nobody hear that? <laughs> I can't hear this Say yours again. Oh, didn't they get up? And from my class, if you didn't hear that, Sid Shretha. <laughs> and from my general music classroom, Colin Cooper and Glenn Doyle. When you have almost all 1,200 students over the course of three years, no one tells you how difficult it is to try to recognize a couple at the end of the year. And so to everyone in the eighth grade who has spent time with us, you have made us better people. We want to recognize you, your parents, your families, and your journey. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos of memories that bring us a smile. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. We hope you had the time of your life. And now the technology department. I was, I was asked to see if you could please hold your applause until all names are read. And I think our song is a little more appropriate for today. Do you want to build a snowman? Doesn't have to be a snowman. OK. Um, the recipients of the Technology and Engineering Award are students who have gone above and beyond in the classroom. These students have demonstrated and excelled at the following, applying math and science concepts to real world problems, integrating problem solving skills into design challenges related to many technologies, always displayed a great attitude, effort, leadership qualities, and an ability to work with others. They were persistent, hardworking, and diligent in seeking working solutions to problems. They were creative, responsible, and possessed the ability to follow a detailed process to the best of their ability, modifying it as they deemed fit. All right. You want me first? Yep. You Chloe Keys. <laughs> Emily Charest. And Sylvie McMakin Marsh. Also, Nephilim Cattell and Belint Shaza. Sullivan. 
please welcome Family and Consumer Science to the stage. Good morning. I'm Laura Pierce, one of three FACTS teachers here at Audison. Our curriculum focuses on life skills that help enable students to function as independent individuals, from learning to balance a budget to being able to prepare a meal. The students we selected demonstrated a respect for others, a strong work ethic, and openness to learning. These students are Emily Charest, Tessa Connors, Colin McGloin, Isabella Miettinen Garrett and Brizette Templeton. Nice job. Just making sure I'm getting followed. Yep, still good morning. Uh, I am up here. My name's Sherry Gittleman. I'm one of five physical education teachers. I have Mr. Kevin Cummings with me, Ms. Nita Matarano. We also have Matt Cooney and Maureen Nee. We're here to present the Physical Education Award. This award is presented to the students who have shown not only good sportsmanship, good teamwork, respect for themselves and their peers, and have shown to us the maturity that is necessary to be a good student athlete. The following people, again, please hold your applause to the end. Please stand when we call your names. Hopefully we will say them very well. I will, I'll try. Emily Charest, Massimo De La Russo, Xavier De Venencia, Karis Edwards, Nepheline Cattell, Sasha Monks, Owen Perrington, Sid Sharitha, Julia Simon, and Alton Winkler. Congratulations. Bonjour et rebonjour to some. Good morning. Uh, my name is Paula Nicholas, and I'm pleased to recognize the outstanding achievement in French. Each year, over 100,000 students across the country take the national French exam, or le grand concours. A very small percentage of those who take it are awarded the prestigious National Laureate Medal. It is with pleasure that I read to you the names of those recipients of this high honor who demonstrated excellence not only on this exam, but through their outstanding work throughout the year. Sierra Farrington, Paige Goodsell, and Nina McNinch. Hola. <laughs> Hi, I'm Meredith Minard. I teach Spanish, and I am pleased to announce the awards for excellence in Spanish, as well as excellence in Latin. Um, the following students are being recognized for excellence in Spanish. These students have demonstrated a commitment to developing their proficiency, which includes consistent use of the target language, as well as excellent classroom participation and citizenship. They have also worked towards deepening their understanding of Hispanic culture and have earned high marks on assessments in all modes of communication. Ritika Gurjar and Julia Simon. The following student is being recognized for her excellence in Latin. This student demonstrates a commitment to developing her proficiency, which includes making an effort to read and understand Latin in and outside of class. She also has worked towards deepening her understanding of Roman culture. Sasha Monks. Thank you.
Now I would like to introduce to you Tom Zurich, who is, has served the Audison community for 12 years as an English teacher and is also graduating to retirement uh, this year. So he's here to say a few words to the graduates. Thank you. I feel like I was just here. It's also kind of a teacher's nightmare to realize you start to say something in class and the students say, Mr. Zerk, you just said that. I think, no, it's a previous class. They said, no, you just said that to our class. When I started doing that on a regular basis, I knew it was time to retire. We left off uh, an hour or so ago talking about how you all need to know, you, know, you all know that you need to work hard, use your imagination, live your own life. Uh, so we'll go on a little bit from there. Uh, when I first began teaching 12 years ago, I really didn't know what to expect. I thought I might have something to say. I, might have, I thought I might have some stories to tell. Uh, it was my fourth career. I'm dating myself, but my professional life began in the early mid-1970s in the Caribbean as a charter captain. I was a sailor, scuba diver, sport fishing guide. I then moved back to the States and became a writer and book editor. Very natural progression from sport fishing. I did that for 12 years and then went into sports psychology. I'm still not sure how that happened. Take some risks. Look for adventures along the way. They're rewarding. Nothing has given me greater satisfaction in my professional life, though, in the past many number of years than teaching and being a teacher for the past 12 years and getting to know you as students and individuals. I would leave you with one thought. Uh, you hear this sometimes, that the world needs you. And I think that's particularly true today. I talked briefly about the meanness and ugliness and nastiness that we see in the world. We need your energy. We need your enthusiasm. We need your sense of, keen sense of justice, your ability to sniff out hypocrisy. But remember, as you go through life, you cast a shadow. Now, this is a metaphorical shadow. Remember, I'm an English teacher. I can't help myself. This is a metaphorical shadow. That shadow is either one of lightness or of dark. And that's up to you. You choose which that will be upon that little world that, that you create that moves around with you. Will that shadow be light? Will it be darkness? It's your choice. So please know that I will miss all of you terribly. I will miss teaching. When I first decided to retire, I was very excited. And now I'm not so excited. People keep saying you're counting down, right? And I say I am counting down, but I'm counting down in a different way than people think because I will miss it so much. So if I am around in four years, I will be at your high school graduation. And I hope I recognize you. And if you ever see me on the street somewhere or anywhere, please stop and say hello. Thank you. Now we have the awarding of the recognition certificates, and our assistant principal, Wendy Salvatore, will read the names. Hi, everybody. We're going to start with the eight tens. I will talk louder, Ms. Packer. Sorry, is that better? Excellent. I will do my best. And we will start with Julia Abreu, Matthew Alessi, Joseph Anderson, Amelia Ansel, Jennifer Bannon, Sophia Beals, Madison Bishop, Paris Bishop, Ian Bova, 
Shane Broughton, John Buckley, Michael Burns, Michaela Cardoza, Wyatt Caruso, Kayla Castellucci, Emily Sherist, Victor Kilaru, Andrew Clossy, Tessa Connors, Colin Cooper, Maceo Crawford, Jamison Curley, Balint Tasaha, Laura Davies, must not be here, okay. So then we have Xavier D. Vanessa, Nicholas D. Benedictus, Massimo Della Russo, Giovanna De Stefanis, Sophia Dolan, yeah. Olivia Doman. I have Glenn Doyle, who must be absent, because that's not you. So then I have Rebecca Dunham, yeah. Miles Durant, yeah. Kalyani Dovin, Dova, sorry. Chris Edwards, Jackson Elkins Duran, Ayiri Iwin, Iwa, sorry, Ayiri Iwa, Sierra Farrington, Lorelai Flanagan, Jessica Fleming, Ella Ford, Dominic Frizzoli, Brady Furtado, Alexandria Galostro, Gagliostro, Alexandria, Woo. Sophie Garrity Janger, Marianne Goddard, Paige Goodsell, Riley Green, Yawi Gregor, Gregoragos, Gregoragos, sorry. Rafika Guru, Ashley Hollis, Sarah Hoffman, Isabel Hausman, Noah Jarbo, Inez Kasimi, Oscar Cardone, Nafilin Cattell, Abigail Kerr, Chloe Keys. Robert Hazan, Tade Katian, Alex Craw, Maya Kushinen, Olive Lawrence, Evan Lee, Aliyah Lehman, Juan Ledger Caballero. Angelica Lou, Brendan Lou, Anna Lindsay, Nolan Lombard, Jake Lyons, Sadie Lyons, Maria Mantini, Scott Matheson, Hugh McCabe, boys and girls. Please try your best to hold your applause and comments till everybody's done. Am I on Colin? Colin McGlowan. Sylvie Mc McMahon Marsh. Nina McNish. Stephen McPherson. Evan Medwar Vanderlinden. Isabella Mietnan Garrett. Zoe Miller. Sasha Monks, Jake Murphy, Denor Nalbani, Benjamin Nigro, Devin Norman, Megan O'Sullivan, 
Juliet Ortiz. Zachary Pandolfo. Anthony Pasqual. Jameson Pike. Jonah Pitchell. Owen Purrington. Benjamin Rassicott. John Reynolds. Owen Roth. Jake Russell. Declan Ryan. Andrina Santin Santangelo. Santaniello. Amelia Scarizas. Anya? <laughs> Anya Sharif. Kevin Simons. Julia Simon. Sasha Sperling. Claire Stipp. Brisette Templeton Winkin. Clark Thakoria. Anthony Trunfio. William Safak. Colin Tochi. Graham Vincent. David Weber is absent. Clara Webster. Grace Wilgren. Alton Winkler. Benjamin Winkler. Eliza Zank. Congratulations to the 810s cluster. Last but not least, we will have the 840s. We are going to start with Katherine Allardyce, Olivia Anderson, Marigold Avril, Luca Bain, must not, Turna Baru, Lucas Blumeno, Zoe Callahan, Joseph Caradonna, Alexander Carpenter. Jacob Carrero, Alexander Senanovic, Brian Sarabone, Sofia De Silva, Francesca DeVito, Christos Dress, Ethan Durham, Patrick Fahey, Kayron Forbes. Joshua Garner, Aaron Govender, Pablo Haruska Cleary, Matthew Hutchinson, Osnan Iftikhar, Amanda Johnson, Amarich Cohn, Preya Lal, Vanessa Lewis. Audrey Loeb, Jeremy Lucas, Olivia Lyle, Liam McBride, Evan O'Rourke, Olivia Plotkin, Hardik Pokrell, Pokrell, Mia Robertson, Maria Robles, Jalen Rodriguez, Faye Shimabukuro, Sid Sharista, 
Lily Sullivan, Connor Sweeney, Jerry Takong, Julie Tremblay, Samuel Wagner, Alice Westad, Jay Whitney, and Zachary Zimmerman. Do you want to congratulate all of the eighth grade? Like congratulate them and then all of the eighth grade? We want to congratulate the 840s. One more time to congratulate the Audison Middle School con Class of 2018, extraordinary students. Congratulations. We would like to extend best wishes to all the families who this is their last child and will be leaving Audison this year. If you could stand and be recognized. Stand and be recognized. Thank you for your support. Special thanks to the Audison faculty, the custodian, Cliff Fallis, and the administrative assistant, Karen Gillis, and also to Ms. Salvatore for reading all the names today. Special thanks to the eighth grade recognition committee, and thank you to OPAC, the OPAC board for their support moving forward to be Go PTO. Uh, pictures will be taken in the upper field. And I just want to say that the students will go up to their classroom and get all your stuff and meet your parents and your family out on the field. So this concludes our ceremony. Have a wonderful day. And congratulations.